This is the national flower of Chile. It's a beautiful specimen. For Pablo, it all started with flowers. As a boy... Me and a friend were very interested in botany. We spent the whole day looking for different ferns, different plants. And when Pablo's school teacher assigned the class together flower collections... So I did that for some payment to some of the students that were lazy, they wouldn't do that. You see, my, my business things started to flourish at that time. But who knew? This boy who made botany pay off would someday help spawn a biotech powerhouse, treatments for major diseases, and a science renaissance across an entire nation. At the University of Chile, Pablo was one of five students chosen for a new degree called biochemistry. But at that time, people were very afraid of the fact that that particular degree didn't offer a professional field or a job. In fact, for his doctorate, Pablo had to move to the United States, to Northwestern University. Then he got a job at UC Berkeley, but the professor's funding fell through. So he said, I'm going to help you. Who else did you also talk about going into his lab? I say Bill Rutter. And it was the luckiest day of my life to meet Pablo. And Bill Rutter hired Pablo into his UCSF lab. Soon, Pablo was showing a rare talent for leading complex lab teams. He could, for example, have four technicians working on a problem, all of them devoted to looking at different aspects of the problem simultaneously, and he's also working. Their progress attracted pharmaceutical companies, but when no deal could be reached, Bill and Pablo and colleague Ed Penhout formed their own company, Chiron. Chiron developed a hepatitis B vaccine, discovered hepatitis C, did the first sequencing of the HIV genome, mass-produced human insulin now used worldwide, and all of this with Pablo directing the research. It was incredible. In fact, in the newspapers at that time when they interviewed me, see, Valenzuela uh, has a system of managed chaos. He was involved uh, crucially in, our, in every one of the major contributions that came from Chiron. But in 1994, Pablo and his scientist wife, Bernadita, decided to return to their beloved Chile. Why? Well, to do what scientists do best. Let's do an experiment whether in a developing country you can do something that shortcuts you into the world of science. So they founded Fundación Ciencia y Vida to foster science that improves Chile and the world. The foundation does research in biomedicine and bioresources, trains the next generation of scientist entrepreneurs, partners with global allies like UCSF, promotes bioscience startups and public awareness of science. And Pablo has been visionary in making that happen. Former UCSF Chancellor Sue Desmond Hellman. So he's focused on how does this country, how do people like me who are in Chile tap into great science, great leadership, entrepreneurship, education. So the foundation created a vaccine for Chile's huge salmon industry, pursues a cancer cure, invites opinion leaders in to do gene splicing, sends a science bus to rural schools and Chile's brightest young scientists to UCSF. I certainly don't know any other case where a scientist pair, like Pablo and Bernadita, have been so uniquely responsible for a whole development in a country. Thanks to Pablo, UCSF can claim another one of our alums has literally advanced health worldwide. This is from a different family. He did it with vision and with legendary team building, the kind he still shows UCSF scientists when they visit Chile. I break the ice with dancing. I had all these guys dancing in a boat just 10 days ago. That's the way it was, yes. <laughs> you have to see that. You have to see Peter Walter, Bruce Albers, Bill Rutter dancing. And that's Pablo, changing the world with a passion that is infectious.